Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Rob and this is Brick Artemis and today we are going to talk about the 1989 Batwing Lego set. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so before we go ahead and get started, I did want to say that I am in the process of moving. So I don't really have an awesome backdrop or anything like that. So it is kind of boring staring at a plain white wall or random arcades or something like that. But please forgive me. Um, it is going to have, be better and get to that point where I can have a really cool Lego room that I can film in once I get to the new house. So bear with me. It might be a couple months or more. So um, yeah, I'll get to it. But let's go ahead and get to the video, shall we? So yeah, opening up this bad boy, we had... 13 numbered bags, but there was also a 14th that had a lot to do with the first step and the stand that you make to put the minifigures on. I love this box. I think the box itself is a 5 out of 5 star, with of course Batman on the side of the box and this beautiful, beautiful look at the Batwing itself. Now opening up the instruction pamphlet. Um, very beautiful. It starts off telling you what all the bags does and the beautiful art that is inside of it. For example, the uh, there's a picture with the Joker staring down the Batwing, which is just amazing. I love it. It talks about the creators and all of that and also shows the Batwing and Batmobile from the 1989 series. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the build itself. So first off, we get this minifigure of Batman, and to be honest, this is my favorite Batman minifigure of all time. I love the cape, I may be in the minority of that, but I don't like the cloth capes that you get with a lot of other minifigures. They tend to bend and wrinkle and rip, and I just don't like that. Obviously, I know you gotta be more careful, and I am, but I just don't like the thought of it doing that, and I think this looks amazing. So yeah, at 2,363 pieces, the box does say 18 and up, but I don't really think I believe that. I think it's more of an advanced, um, so don't always look at that. Uh, but it is for advanced builders, I would say. It's I, I definitely not a toy, it's a collector's item more so, and a display piece. So yeah, you maybe don't want to buy this for your seven-year-old, eight-year-old, unless they're really good and take care of their stuff. But all that being said, I had a lot of fun building this. It did take me roughly a week, but I had a lot going on, but uh, it was a ton of fun. If I had a whole day to myself, I could have easily have done it probably in about six hours or so. It has a strong, very strong, sturdy base on the inside of the Batwing that makes me feel very confident that if I move it around or carry it or or something like that or switch places in the room, it's not going to break. These edges here with the light, I love. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the Batwing is that it's all the, of like a shiny black. And every time I push down on a piece as I'm building, I notice my fingerprint. And I don't like seeing my fingerprint all over the piece. It is somewhat easy to wipe down. I, it, it does get a little tough sometimes. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna wear off the, the, uh, the Lego paint or whatever it is. Um, but it, it's not, it's more of a, a plastic. So you don't have to worry about that for anybody who's, who's worried. But again, a lot of fun with this build. It's a very sturdy build. I give that a five out of five. I had a lot of fun building this and going step by step. It, there was a lot of um, repetitiveness that I noticed going through this with a, hey, do all this on one side and do all this on that side again. But I get it. I mean, it was still fun. There was a, a part where it was like 43 pieces of the same, just neck to neck to neck to neck. And that's fine though. I still had fun doing it and it's always fun hearing those snaps as you go really quick anyways. But yeah, every step that I took as I was continuing with this build, I was getting more and more excited. Seeing the chair in the cockpit was amazing. I love that it can recline, go forward. I love the steering and the picture where the and inside of the cockpit where the... Um, 
screen is showing an actual minifigure in its target in its crosshairs, which I think is amazing. Um, but yeah, the front of this bad boy, I took a picture like this because it just reminds me of, man, if this thing was coming at you at full speed, how crazy that would be if this thing was real. The uh, window to the cockpit is also pretty sweet. It comes right off and then gets it's really easy to put back on if you want your minifigure to go in there. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. You can see the red missiles there too next to the cockpit. Um, I thought that was a nice little touch. Again, it looks just like the Batwing from the 1989 film. The turrets on each side, which is really awesome. You could do a lot with this set if you even wanted to play with it but again i do think it's more of a display piece but if you did want to have some fun every now and then and make some videos like i have then you can do that too of course but yeah this bad boy is a beast and it's actually pretty heavy coming in at a whopping 45 ton no i'm just kidding but yeah it does have some girth to it which i love the one thing that I will knock on it, other than the fingerprints all over, and that's just Lego, but it's every now and then. But um, the one thing that I will knock is that the stand that comes with the Batwing does not feel sturdy at all. Every time I take the Batwing off and I put it back on, a little piece falls off in the bottom where the hole is to the stand. But, and it just feels like it's tippy toppy and freaks me out a little bit but it is what it is once it's on there it's safe to say that it won't fall off display purposes i can easily say this is a five out of five the build is easily a five out of five the minifigures are easily a five out of five like i said there are a couple of things that bother me a bit but that's not enough to knock it down to a four star so yeah this is definitely a lego set especially as a batman fan that you should definitely consider buying especially before it retires or else you're going to miss out like we have on the batwing so yeah very happy with this and i suggest you buy one so just a quick recap this item this set is one of my favorite sets of of all time uh it was somewhat complex it was very detailed very well put together very sturdy and stable i love that about the batwing the minifigures are 10 out of 10 i love that they have their own own little display that they can stand on it's it's amazing um i give this a five out of five star and if you can get your hands on it go ahead and do so while you can Again, I love it, and um, yeah, I couldn't ask for more. The detail, just to review, the detail of the, the, um, the, the cockpit and the sticker where it shows that somebody is being targeted, just little things like that, the, the engines and the, the minifigure themselves. I mean, it's the wing expansion, the stand that it comes with, and how you can mount it on a wall, which is amazing. Um, it, there's so many things I like about this. I really wish I could get the 1989 Batmobile. It's kind of impossible for me to get it right now, at least at this time. But I'm keeping my eye on it. You never know when you can catch a good deal to put with the Batwing. I do, however, have the the um, the Batmobile from the latest, The Batman. So I can always put that with it. But yeah, that's about everything I have uh, to say about the Batwing from 1989 Batman. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and check out my goofy gold digger video that I made with uh, Batman, Wanda, and the thug minifigure from this set. Uh, it is really goofy. I'll put the link down below if you want to give it a shot. Alright guys, well if you liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot and I'd love to get closer to the community and with you guys. So go ahead and do that and until next time, keep bricking.